Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. A happy new year to you. I hope 2022 is a great year for you and your families. I was thinking back to my 2021 and realised I moved house part way through and I promised everybody at the time that I would do a craft room tour video and I didn't do one. But guess where I'm sat today? That's right, in my new craft room. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you all my goodies and hopefully give you some inspiration for your own craft room. I'll see you again at the end of the video. Enjoy your tour. Right, so I'll start off over by the door. First up is my hockey stick. I've got to show that everybody. So I love the ice hockey. Absolutely love it. I'm a avid supporter of the Coventry Blaze um, ice hockey team, which is where this stick come from. And it was my favourite player's stick and he got it signed by all of the people in the team that year, which was great. And that sits by the door. Also a couple of years ago, or more than a couple of years ago, actually, 2015, 2016, I made it over to the States and I watched my ice hockey team that I support over the pond play, um, the Dallas Stars, and I picked this up while I was there. And then one of my crafty friends from Canada sent me a little ice hockey stick. Look at that. <laughs> and I've kept it next to my big stick because I think it's ironic and funny. And they sit by the door. Okay. So here's my calyx unit. I think every crafter in the world has a calyx unit, don't they? Love it. So, so useful. Let me explain to you what is everywhere. So starting on the bottom corner, I have these cute little plastic tubs. And I keep all my cards in there when I've made them. So this one here is full of cards that would have had their videos come to you sort of in the, this year. This one here is now full and I'm starting on the top one. And what I do is I keep these going and then every sort of once in a while I will do a craft fair and I will pop these all out at a craft fair. Also, they're just really useful and handy for me just to grab out and send to customers or friends as we go through. Okay, and there's Winnie the Pooh. Obviously, you've got to have a few Winnie the Poohs in the craft room, right? This little drawer unit, this was from Ikea as well, so it fits perfectly in the Calyx unit. And it's two drawers, which you can just pull out. This bottom one here is slightly messy. Um, this is all my scrap cardstock. So as I'm crafting, if I have any coloured cardstock at the end, which is scrap, I pull that drawer out, put it in there. And then once in a while, I'll sit in front of the TV one night and sort it all out. And I'll show you then where I properly keep it when it's sorted. The top drawer is just music CDs so that I can just grab a CD and put it on while crafting. Stamps section. I know, love my stamps. So these ones here on, um, I'm trying to work out where my hand is as opposed to the camera. <laughs> these ones here are from the annual catalogue and they finish just here. So it's those two shelves and the end of this one. And they're all annual catalogue stamps and I sort them all alphabetical. Then here are celebration stamps. So these are all ones that will be coming to you in the new catalogue that goes live on the 4th and they're ones that you can earn for free. Okay, so they're the celebration stamps. The mini catalogue, so this is the catalogue that goes live on the 4th and it will be live for a few months. Um, these are the stamps from there. And what I've actually done is I have done midweek mini projects with these ones. I haven't yet filmed these ones. So I've just popped a punch in there to sort of keep my space. The punches, this is genius. Love these. These were from Ikea. They're metal um, sort of baskets and they hang over the top. And they're just big enough for the punches and just give you enough room to get your fingers in to get your stamps out. Absolutely genius. And I haven't seen them in Ikea since. So I picked up three and then I went back for another one to put in this section and they hadn't got any more left. And I haven't seen them in Ikea since and I've had them for years. So I'm not quite sure if they were just a one-off thing that they got, but they're brilliant. So I have three lots of punches these are all from the celebration catalog or from the mini catalog and these are all annual catalog of punches these folders here have my previous 
year order forms in. So I have 2021 and I have 2020 there and I just keep them for the three years. So I can see what I'm doing and keep my books. The top part, sorry, I went a bit blurry. I had to get it from my knees. <laughs> these are my designer series paper trays. So these are all the annual catalog designer series papers. And these are the new mini catalog ones. And these are the celebration ones. This is mini catalog as well. This is the Christmas ones that um, are now retired and I need to sort of clear those out. And these are my 12 by 12 cardstock packs. So they're here. And at the bottom, I have glimmer paper because I can't get rid of it. And I also have some old DSP. Shh. But they're like my favourite DSPs. I loved this one um, that you could colour with your blends. I just can't get rid of it. So they're there. At the top, I have um, these two paper trays. They came from stamping up as a congratulations and a centre stage gift for the recent um, on stage we had. So I have my open basic white in here. So this is my thick basic white and this is my thin basic white. And as soon as I open a pack, I just pop it in here so that I can grab it out quickly. Next to it, I have all my catalogues. So I have my annual catalogues, my mini catalogues. Um, up the side here, I've got my celebration and my joining catalogues. And I have my order forms, just in case anyone gives me a call or wants them, I can just grab them out. Um, also businessy, just here on my six by six paper, I've got my business cards. So if anyone asks, if they come around, I can just pass them a business card. Okay, it's currently Christmas while I'm filming, so you have got Rudolph and Lady Rudolph. <laughs> Over here, I have got my drawers. These are just um, two lots of three drawers. I got these from a local shop and I've literally just put them one on top of the other. They were actually really good value um, and I got a few sets of these um, one way or another. I'm sure I probably told you in my video they arrived damaged. I complained. They sent me new ones out and didn't collect the old ones. And then they sent me another new ones out and didn't collect the old ones. And I ended up with a whole load of drawers. <laughs> and here they are, one on top of the other. So let me show you what's in them. OK, these three here. These are retired drawers. I know I just can't bring myself to getting rid of all of my retired stamps. So I do get rid of the majority, but these are retired Christmas stamps that I just absolutely love. Look, there's the owls. I told you I love owls. Um, this one here is um, previous, just normal stamps. They're all in alphabetical order so I can find them. And again, I just find them so useful um, and I just can't get rid of all of them. So I do get rid of the majority, but those ones have snuck in. I just, I love them. And I know the minute I let them go, I would want to make a card with them. This drawer here is my making drawer. So in here, I've got lots of little sort of um, beauty bits and pieces, um, sort of hand lotions and shampoos and things like that from hotels that I can use for my 3D projects. Here I've got sort of candles and things like that that I can pop into boxes. I have got a load of notebooks because I love covering little notebooks and sending them to people. So they're all there. Um, some candles that I actually got for Christmas that I put in here. They were so pretty. And I thought, you know what, I can do a box with those. Um, um, this here was one of the first gifts I received after becoming a demonstrator. So I became a demonstrator a few years ago and we did a team swap. And this was made by Janice, Jazzle Dazzle Crafts up in Scotland. And there's some candles in there that smell amazing. Really nice. It had a metallic back on it. And you know what? I loved it. And the fact that it was the first swap I ever took place in, it's got a special place. So it always will stay there. Okay, this is my Christmas set. So Christmas is now over. And these are the Christmas carryover sets. If you've ever heard me in any videos, the key thing for me is post-it notes. So I have a ton of them just there, right by my desk. So I can just turn around and grab them. And then here I have, um, this box was a few years ago, actually. It came with a kit and I loved it. Um, I've got some card backs already cut. So these are, when I grab card and I say to you, I've already pre-cut it. 
and it's the right size of my base that's in here this is card that is a full size and this is one that you can put onto a color backing so i know where all of those are finally the top drawer this is my goodie drawer i'm gonna have to go on my tiptoes for you to see in here so um generally at certain times throughout the year i get things that are doubles i get stamping rewards i get things like that and i pop the spares of them in here and they form either my host giveaways or they form my thank you gifts for my team and customers and things like that. Um, so there's sort of a few sort of duplicated stamp sets, um, embellishments, things like that, you know, that I can just turn around, grab and pop in a parcel and send out to someone as a little smiley thank you gift. Next up, I have my paper rack. So this was actually gifted to me um, from a very close friend of mine, Sally Shaw from Sally Stampers. Um, this was her paper rack. I always loved these paper racks and then she moved and she no longer needed it and I was over and it was in my car <laughs> so it's lovely I've got it in rainbow order and what I do is when I told you earlier that I put my scraps in that bottom drawer I do but then once in a while I will sit in front of the tv and I will sort them out and so what I actually then do is I have my a4 cardstock just sort of there and then I have um, envelopes which have the name of it Calypso Coral and I pop all my scraps into these envelopes and pop them back on top like that so that I can just grab them and go so you can see sort of how I've done this on all of them but it, to me that just makes sense but it just takes a bit of time to do it so that's why I have the scrap drawer and then I put them on here okay so now we're around to my actual workspace of my desk um, here I have my invitation to centre stage. Uh, means a lot to me. I worked really hard to become Silver Elite. I just, I love doing this. I really do. And this year was my first centre stage ever that I was invited to. And obviously I couldn't really go because it was um, COVID time, so it was virtual. It was good virtually, but I'd have loved to have gone in person. And I've kept my congratulations banner that I received just here so that I can see it and it makes me smile. Um, this was from my upline, Sam. So be the best version of you. Think that's great. And it's good motivation when you walk straight into the room. Another the Winnie the Pooh. They've just got to be everywhere, right? Um, I'm a diary and notepad gal. Love them. So I have got my um, Geeky K diary, uh, my passport holder. I've got another diary here. This used to be a stamping up one, but I've actually now just filled it as a scrapbook journal and I love it. Um, my dress book and just some scribble paper. I've got this stamp set here. This is the only stamp set that's made it onto my desk, which is stamping your way to the top. So this is when I make my cards for my new team members. I use that for them because it's got welcome to the team and all some lovely great sayings. I've got my Stamper Artist Grid paper, my stamp and scrub. Um, I've also got my stamping mat just there. And then this here is my Stamper Artist. I've got all my spare plates and my Stamper Artist just there. In this drawer here, this is my um, bling drawer. So it's all my rhinestones and all of my goodies that go on as embellishments. And that sits on here. At the top here, I've got our little cube boxes that we can make up and do and decorate. Um, this here, this was um, a kit a few years ago and it's got the Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart on. And I keep those stamp sets that come with kits, but don't actually have a box in there loose. Um, so, you know, when you buy a kit and you get a stamp set come in it, but it actually doesn't have um, like a DVD box like the others. I just keep them in there and they fit perfectly. This shelf, this is my embossing shelf. So in here I have all my embossing powders, my embossing buddy and um, a little piece of scrap card that helps me catch and keep that clean. Um, these are my pastels. Here I've got a little tub of clips. You never know when clips are going to be useful, right? So a little tub of clips and my mini guillotine. Over here on trays, so I can just pull them out, I actually have my basic stamps that you need, sorry, basic inks that you need. So I've got my Whisper White, my Stays On, my Versamark and my Memento. So I can just literally pull this off and put it back. And very similarly, underneath I have got um, a load of twine. Love twines, but they get tangled on my ribbon bit, so it's great to keep them there. Here I've got another load of card bases. So this is my favourite size. 
this is my 10.5 by my 14.8 so this is the exact same size as my card base that's there and then whenever i get any scrap of whisper white i just put it there because i find you just pull that out quite often and use it um i stick lost stamps to this <laughs> so i currently have a lost stamp um it's your birthday if you're watching it and you know which stamp set it's from let me know and I can pop it back in its box. But you always find a lost stamp somewhere. And I stick them there until I get the set out and realise, oh, there's a stamp missing. And then I can pop it back. Here I've got my scoring board and I've got my trimmer, um, my chamois, all my blocks. So I keep them in size order just in this box here and I can just grab them out. This was a really handy little purchase. I think it was about a pound from the pound shop. And it's just been really good. So I have some vouchers in here from my upline. Um, in this one here, I have the mini stamping dimensionals. And in the bottom one here, I have the normal size stamping dimensionals. So I can just grab and go. I've also got some scrap paper here. So this is just loose that I can just grab and write with. Over here, sweetie tubs. We all need sweeties. Um, so I've got chocolates in the back one and sweets in the front one to keep us going um and then this this was made for me by um my lovely friend Kay Kay Mella at Paper Craft Skies she makes some beautiful things really lovely and she bought me this when I moved into my place so it sits there um I've got my ruler perfume obviously every girl needs perfume hidden everywhere right um, my bigger blocks that don't fit into my box and I've got a pen caddy just here so this come from Stampin' Up as part of their center stage gift this year and it matches the paper files I showed you earlier uh, my filming diary and schedule and my notepad. Um, I've got an otter light. So this is from Hobbycraft and it's really good. It's a daylight light um, light. And I just throw things in here. So I've got sort of stamps, um, some lippy, a spare bone folder. I've got um, this I love. Um, it's one of the paint brushes. I can't think of the name of the paint brush it is. But I think it's like a fan brush. And I use it when I'm doing my heat embossing to get rid of any stray sort of bits that's on there. Um, lippy, you never know when you're going to need lippy. <laughs> Hole punch, um, different things like that are all stuck there. Um, this here is our big foam sheets, the adhesive sheets. They're there for whenever I need them. Okay, and then I have all of my inks at the back of my desk just here. So I've sort of done them in colour order. I know it's not ideal. I haven't really quite worked out whether I love this or not yet. Um, but I have all our neutrals with the blends to the side. This is all the Stampin' Right storage, um, Stampin' Up storage, sorry. Stampin' Right markers here. My purples, my yellows and my oranges with the coordinating blends underneath. Um, pinks down to reds greens, blues, and that's kind of how I've gone at the moment. Uh, these three here have a straight top, so I can just rest my iPad on there and Dumbo can sit on there. I'm a bit of a Disney freak, aren't I? Um, and these two have the tray top, so I've got two of the old style ink pads that don't fit in here, that just sit on the top. And then I've got all my um, ink refills just there. Do you like my wallpaper, by the way? I will just do a shout out here to my brother who was absolutely genius. I tried to wallpaper. I thought, I'll get the hang of that. I'm a crafter. I'll be able to wallpaper. Nope, I was absolutely useless. But my brother came and done it and I absolutely love it. I think it's so gorgeous. Um, this is how I film. So I can just pull this down and I can film. And this is where I film on my desk. So I actually have two parts of my desk. This bit here is where I film. This is where my main grid paper is. And then I have the messy part of my desk, which is just here. Um, if you know me, when I do my filming, I don't like getting my grid paper messy when I film because I think it's just distracting. So I will then grab an old piece of grid paper to get messy, which is normally just on this side. Um, and I'll just grab it over. Also, these are genius. These are desk protectors that I got from Ikea. They're not that expensive, but they're huge. And I got three. Um, and it fits with the whole of the desk. So um, the desk's an Ikea desk. It's a standing desk, actually. So that's where your sitting ends and your standing starts. Um, I've grabbed one of these from my breakfast bar in the kitchen. And I sometimes sit at it. But quite often when I'm filming, I'm standing so I can walk about and grab stuff. That's ideal to me. 
underneath the desk over that side that's just messy um that's because i work from home now so due covid um so in there is my laptop my work monitor all my work cables my work phone and all my work books so when it comes to a monday morning i just grab the box out lay that out on my desk it's out till friday and then it goes back there i've also got this pull out trolley so this is on wheels and it just pulls out and it's got my big shot on there it's got my extending plate it's got my um my sandwich bits and pieces but it's also got all of our dies and all of our embossing folders in there so let me show you how i store those so generally i have them attached to metallic shims i take them out of the package they come in put the package in the back and I have a A5, so this is A5 um, wallet with an A5 metallic shim. I add all of these onto here so I can see them. I put this into the back so I know what it is. And then I can just pop it in there and done. There are a few that I haven't had chance to do yet because they come with the new mini catalog. And then at the front here, I just sort of have embossing folders and things. Right, so let's just pop that back onto there. That's quite heavy actually. <laughs> Right, my pegboard. I'm so excited about having a pegboard. Just, I don't think you get how excited I am. I've wanted a pegboard for ages. So this was the best purchase I got for my new craft room. Okay, so I've got um, my uh, double-sided adhesive tape. My glue dots are just there, but when I open my new pack of glue dots, they sit on here. I've got a little box here that has got all my Stampin' Up! pins in. So when you go to Stampin' Up! events and things like that, you get pins. They're there. I've got a spare cubby at the moment. I'm sure I'll find something for it. These are all of my uh, trimmer blade refills. And this is my take a pick tool refills. I have glue in two places. So I actually have some glue here. These are brand new unopened glue. This here is opened glue I'm getting to the end of and so they're upside down so I can just grab them and use them while filming. So I've got my fine tip in there, I've got my uh, crystal effects and I've got my normal Tombow glue. This here is card bases, so this is A5 paper, so it's A4 cut in half and scored in half. So when I'm speaking to you and I say I'll just grab a card base, I'm literally just grabbing one from here. In this pot here, we've got all my bone folders, a pencil. I've got my take a pick tool at the back. Um, I've got my sort of black pen. I've got my chalk marker. You know, it's just a bit of a bitty one. I've got a spare scoring tool. Um, so I can just grab from there. At the bottom, paracetamol. Need I say more? I've got my seal plus my seal. I've also got some of our old glue runners. So I've got my fuse and my snail. Um, I've got post-it notes. You know, I love post-it notes. There's so many things in crafting you can use post-it notes for. Always got to have them. An eraser for my pencil that's above. Um, my stamp and spritz, my um, stays on cleaner. I have got some refills here. These are the new in colours. They didn't quite fit in the tub over there. So they're here currently, but they will be moving. Um, my, this is the old stamp cleaner and I love it. Always have, so it sits under there think it's great um up here i've got a whole host of scissors on that one and i've got all my blending brushes in this one here um little leaflet here because me and my crafty friends we like going to alton towers so i've got a couple of vouchers there for when we can start going back around the country again i've got that big mint macaron ribbon here because it's just a bit too big for my ribbon holder which is at the top so these are really handy little trays that come with the ikea pegboards and they fit in all of my ribbons and all of my embellishments. I might have to move my embellishments soon because you can see I'm almost out of space for ribbons, but we'll get there. And then this here is this cute little dangle that one of the girls in our team made, Amber, and I just loved it. So it just hangs from my desk. Uh, this is our stamping up sort of display board and I have just stuck a load of things on it. So it just sits in the corner of my desk there. Um, you know things are probably special to me so this card here was made by my aunt she lives in canada in fact she lives just here in Cranton, and she sent me um, a couple of note cards that she had made so they've obviously had to be on there because i think they're very special and that one look at the detail in it 
see crafting jean um that's my nan um, this is a little tag that my friend got me for my birthday last year. We couldn't really go out, so I sat in with it, but yeah. Um, Silver Elite, this is what one of my teammates made for me. It's an amazing card. This card here is very special to me. I made it um, when I did a presentation at, on stage for Stamping Up, so I was lucky enough to be one of their presenters, and this was my feature card that I made, and it sits there to tell me that I was brave enough to stand on a stage in front of hundreds of people and present it. Um, the little Gold Coast mascot from the Commonwealth Games the other year. Uh, the little flower card behind that, that's from my upline Sam as a congratulations for me for Team Silver Elite. And this one here I've recently made and popped on my channel. I made a little bit of a boo-boo in the corner, but I said I didn't care because I loved it and I was going to make a Christmas card to myself. So that's my Christmas card to me. And a headband. Need one of those for your craft desk, right? I've got my mini stamping up. Um, stamping in boss and cut machine there with all of my mini folders and everything ready to go my bin just to the side um this candle here was gifted to me at and on stage by sally stampers and i love it um i've got my little oh, this is supposed to be a sunday um dish from disney but actually tigger holds all of my pens so that's quite useful and i've got a little model squirt there so if you just join me um and you don't know me i actually have a tortoise uh squirt he's normally walking around this room stomping around he's asleep at the moment um so that's there um again my ice hockey puck and you'll notice, look, loads and loads of drink mats. I'm a cup of tea, a holic. So that's my desk. Under my desk, if you excuse my wires from my filming, I have this really handy sort of paper caddy. So where I have all my papers here, it actually doesn't fit all of them. So I have extra paper here. So all of this row here are already in there. But this is just an awful lot of it. Too much to fit in the in the other one then i have all the neutrals and just here behind my paper trimmer i have our whites our black and our shimmery white cardstock and then this here is all of our in colors and very vanilla at the bottom okay at the top these here have all my electrical stuff in so they have spare batteries they have my camera for filming um, all different things like that I've also got a um, pencil box and a pen box. You can never have enough stationery. Okay, moving over to this side. You'll notice this is also um, the spare place for my lemonades. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't fit them. They don't fit in my cupboard in the kitchen. They're just too tall for the cupboard. And I don't like having lemonade lying down because then I feel it's always going to overflow. So that's for when I have a cheeky gin later to put my lemonade with. Um, here I have my watercolour box, I have my watercolour pencils or my watercolour pens, I have my shot glass which I put my water in, I have my watercolour paper so if I ever start watercolouring I just grab this box out, that's where that comes from. Here I've got card sort of, what's the word for it, frames I suppose. So you know when I put my base cardstock onto a colour sheet, these are all cut to the right size. So these are 10 centimetres by 14.3 which means that they can then go onto my card base and leave a white frame around the edge. And then I can put some of my white paper on top and it will leave a colored frame around the edge. And I have them all there in color family order. Okay, down the bottom, I have um, a load of envelopes in this. So I got this from Primark a few years ago, really helpful and useful. And this here is a photo frame, which should be up. It's my Silver Elite certificate, but um, it's not up because I couldn't find any place to put it. Down the bottom here, I have a couple of extra craft mats. I have some labels for my label printer, some envelopes for when I'm actually sending things out. Again, a load of labels and things like that. Down the bottom here, right on the floor, is all my spares. So these are all my spare blends. If you know me, I love my blends. Um, and if they run out, I don't want to have to wait to do a new order. So I actually have a spare of them all here. And then in here, I've obviously had some adhesive delivered and haven't had time to put it in my adhesive box. This is my spare adhesive box. So lots of different um, adhesives there that I can just grab and restock whenever needed. Okay. 
Right, let's move over to the other side of the room and up I get again. <laughs> Um, so this is a chair that I was speaking to you from earlier. Um, this apron actually that's on the chair is um, one of my aprons that I gift to people when they go to on stage for my team. So unfortunately, a few people from my team haven't been to on stage yet. They've been virtually, but haven't been to a physical one. They'll get these when they come to a physical one. Um, do, 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 over here, down the bottom, I have all of my mailing stuff. So I have my mailing labels, and good and stuff that I put in over here these are my team vouchers so I give my team vouchers each month and they're there so I can pop them into them um, and my marker pens there for actually writing on everything and oh and here's my thick card so that card that comes at the back of your DSP I always keep it there because it always then will support my um, mailing when I send it out my big envelopes that don't fit in the drawer uh at the top here this is all stuff to go with my scan and cut and there's my scan and cut um with my scan and cut mat um these drawers here aren't really crafting well they are crafting but they're not paper crafting so i also do crochet i do scrapbooking and i also um at times i do a little bit of woodwork so i've got all my bits there here i've got my boxes from um on stage um so this is the backstage which Silver Elite Demonstrators got to go to in August and this is my centre stage box. Um, I do have a load more boxes but they're up in the loft. These two here are still here because I've actually filled them with notebooks. So you know earlier I said I was a notebook fan. They are full of notebooks. Absolutely full. Um, this draw, These drawers here, they aren't anything to do with crafting or here. They're just homey drawers. Um, and then this here I got from Tesco's a few years ago actually. Goodbye. Um, and what I do is if I've done my scan and cut in or anything else, or I've just sat and done a colouring day or things like that, I just pop all of the spare ones here so I can just grab them and start making cards when needed. And -do 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 -do, back to the door. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my craft room tour. Well, you made it to the end of the tour. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for joining me and I am so sorry that I have been so sloppy this year. Honestly, I promised to do this months and months ago and it just, it just went. But thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your view around my craft room. I have videos now scheduled up to March so I'm not going to be doing that thing where I just leave you hanging again because I know I've done that a bit in 2021 but 2022 New Year's resolution is to keep up with my filming schedule. Thank you for everyone for the support last year. And if you are new and you want to have a look at the things that I make in, please do subscribe and pop back. I have regular videos going out and would love to see you. There are also pictures of my craft room over on my Instagram, Slim and Stylish. Come and follow me over there and I'll see you all soon. Bye.